Hey, my loves, welcome back to another episode of the Euro Cooking Canuck. I'm glad that you're here with me. On today's segment of Clearly Canadian, I'm going to be making something that is inspired by Canada's iconic and national alcoholic drink, and that is the Caesar. The Caesar was invented in 1969 at the Calgary Inn. The manager at the time was celebrating the opening of a new Italian restaurant and thought back to his Italian roots, remembered a dish made of spaghetti with tomato sauce and clams. Hence, the Caesar was born. The Caesar contains Clamato juice. Now, after it was tasted and tested for the first time, it went wildfire across Canada. To this day, almost 400 million Caesars are served annually, so you can see how popular it is. It didn't really venture too far out of Canada, and I think that has a lot to do with the marketing of Clamato juice. However, you can find it in bordering U.S. states with Canada and some pockets of Europe where there's a large concentration of Canadian expats. That being said, guys, the Caesar has a different taste profile altogether, and you can garnish it with the iconic celery stock, everything in between, right up to a chicken wing if you wanted. I've seen it all, but more on that later. Guys, we're going to make this soup that's inspired by the classic flavors of the Canadian Caesar. So let's get in my kitchen and get this going. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen countertop. Before we go on with the main um, recipe today, I thought for fun I'd show you actually how to make a classic Caesar. So I have a mason jar here, which you'll find typically in a lot of pubs and bars. They also may serve it in a fancy glass, but you know, that's up, that's up to them. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to rim very well your glass with lemon juice. Really give it a good, get it wet. You can dip this in water, but this is more flavor. And then what I have here is the, you know, the typical celery salt mixture. Now this one here is really popular in Canada, and I'm using that. There's like onion powder in here and paprika. There's more spices than just straight celery salt. So what you want to do is dip your glass in there and make sure you really get those edges. See that? Right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze in the rest of my lemon juice in here. And then I'm going to start with my aromatics. So I'm going to have a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. I mentioned, guys, that there is a lot of toppings you can do. Pickled green beans asparagus spears, you can use dill pickle spears, I've even seen onion rings. When we had, when I had my bar, I uh, did a fireman's one, it was fiery vodka, and we topped it, we, we used mesquite barbecue seasoning around here, and we topped it with nacho chips. Hot sauce, use Tabasco, use your favorite, I love Frank's Red Hot, and again, to your taste, I like it spicy, as you know guys. So that's going in. Just a little bit of horseradish. Freshly grated, preferred, but I don't have freshly grated today. And of course, vodka. Use your favorite vodka, guys. I'm going to do the three count. One, two, three. <laughs> It's, a little, it's going to be a strong one. Optionally, you can put in some salt. Just a bit. Pepper. Just a bit. And of course, your Clamato juice. Now guys, if you don't have Clamato juice, and I can appreciate because Guess what? I don't have it here in Malta. My mom sent me a powdered Clamato mix um, that I, you know, I just add water to. Because we don't have it in Malta. But this is the authentic thing. It tastes real. Trust me, I've already been through it, Chuck. But you can use tomato juice with about a quarter cup of clam juice that you can buy in bottles. 
So, bring that up. Now, I have a celery stock for garnish. Again, guys, you can be very, very creative. I have here some cucumbers and tomatoes. Make it look pretty. And there you go, guys. There's a Caesar. Cheers. Let me give this a taste. Oh. Oh, Canada. That's awesome. Oh. And the rim. Mm. Guys, amazing. Oh, I forgot. You have to have a lime wedge. So, guys, there's the Caesar. A little trip for you on the side. Let's get making the recipe now. Alrighty guys, on to the main menu here. I have all the ingredients you're going to need to make the Caesar soup. Now, obviously you're going to need some Clamato juice. So I have a liter of Clamato juice. You're also going to need a couple of cups of just plain tomato juice. You're also going to need celery. Now, the quantities, guys, it's up to you. It's up to your taste. So celery stalks, you're going to need a whack of scallions. I have here about a half a pound of bacon that's smoked. And, of course, you're going to need baby clams in the brine. I have two um, packs here. Guys, get what's available at your grocery store, whatever size they come in and how many clams you want. Again, it's up to you. This is a very easygoing, forgiving recipe. For flavorings, you're going to need the grate or the rind of an entire lemon and its juice. You're going to need a couple of vegetable bouillon cubes, salt and pepper to taste, a little bit of that rimming seasoning, or you can use a little bit of celery salt. Go sparingly, guys, because it's really salty. You're going to need a good heaping teaspoon of horseradish. If you have fresh, go less on it, but you can add fresh, of course. Hot sauce. Again, I use Frank's because I put that on everything. You can use your favorite hot sauce. You're also going to need a bit of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. You guys know what I mean. And that's it. That's it, guys. It's going to taste awesome. Believe me. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my bacon and my green onions or scallions. And then I'll show you when that's all. Hey, good. guys. Welcome back to the stove top. I have my bacon going here. And um, <clears throat> to be honest with you, I have to add just a little bit of um, olive oil. Actually, I use in soups I use it's a, it's a canola olive oil mix. I really like it. So at this point, they're starting to get a little crispy, and I don't want them like bacon bits in this, but I do want them, you know, cooked enough. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add my scallion. Again, guys, it's up to you how many scallions you use, but I would suggest using a lot because they're mild. They're not as, you know, pungent as regular onions. And they really add to this recipe. So just for a bit, I'm going to let this go. And then I'll add my celery. And I'll bring, oh, it smells so good. And then I'll bring you all back, guys. So continue with your uh, sorry scallions and bacon. Okay, guys. So I've continued with my scallions and bacon, and I'm happy with the consistency of the scallions. They are getting soft, but they're not completely mushed or burnt or anything like that. So at this point, what I'm going to do is go ahead and add celery. I'm using five stalks. They weren't huge, but celery is a very um, important component as well. Now, I always say season in layers. I'm not going to salt this. There's enough salt elements going into this soup. I will wait till the end. However, I will give it some ground black pepper. 
And what I forgot to mention, guys, is I just uh, snipped my bacon up with my kitchen shears. This makes it easier. But you all know how to cook bacon, please. So my celery is in. I'm going to let that sweat just for a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and start adding our other elements. Now, guys, on the bottom of your pot, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. We spoke of this before. That's fond. Do not switch out your pot. Do not clean out the pot. That is flavor. And when you put the liquid, you can just gently scrape the bottom and it will lift right off and add flavor to your soup. Never get rid of that, guys. Even if you're roasting or whatever, it makes good gravy. So, just sweating out the celery. It shouldn't take long. And then I'll be back to show you what I do next. Hey guys, welcome back. So what I'm doing now is I'm just grating in the rind of that whole lemon and trying not to get the white part. So that's good. That's all in. And I'm going to reserve that lemon because we're going to need that later. Okay. It smells absolutely incredible in here. All right, so at this point in time, I'm going to go ahead and add my Clamato juice. It's one liter, guys. And then I'm going to add in, well, a couple of cups or so of tomato juice. Now, I do have some water in my kettle on the standby in case the flavors are too intense, but we'll, we'll see. It doesn't really call for it. Right away I can feel that fond lifting off the bottom. So at this point I'm going to go ahead, add my vegetable bouillon cubes. I'm going to add a good heaping teaspoon of our horseradish. And again, guys, go spare me in the beginning. You can always adjust later. A few glugs of Worcestershire sauce. Don't forget, guys, this is a soup, not a cocktail, so you can go a little bit more. And I'm just going to put a little bit of my rimming Seasoned salt. That's another thing. You can use seasoned salt if you don't have this or if you don't have celery salt. But again, guys, it's salty. So little goes a long way. And then a good helping of good old Frank. Or whatever hot sauce you prefer. If you want this smoky, you can actually add chipotle hot sauce. That would be really nice and this would really complement the bacon. All right guys, so that's all in. I'm going to bring this to a boil and then let it simmer and I'll be back. Hey guys, so my soup has come to a boil. Um, I did taste it. I put more hot sauce and more horseradish. I'm going to add some pepper. And the lemon rind that we put in here really gave it a nice citrus flavor. So, that being said, I'm not going to add the whole lemon. And that's the beauty about your kitchen and your taste. I'm only going to add about half, just to brighten it up. That's it. Now, I'm going to place this on a simmer. Now guys, if you're working with gas stoves like I am, sometimes even on simmer, it just keeps going and going and going and going. So, pardon my reach. What I have here is a diffuser, and they're great on gas stoves to diffuse the heat. And you can also use these if you want to cook with clay pots on top of your gas element, or electric element for that matter. So. It's gone on a really low simmer. I have my diffuser, so I know it's not going to over boil on me. 
I want the flavors to concentrate now. So, and I don't want a lot of evaporation. So I'm going to put a lid on it with slightly a jar and we'll let this go for a bit. I'll bring you back, I'll taste it and we'll finish up. Hey everyone, welcome back. The soup has simmered. I've tasted it again. And I added just a dash of Worcestershire. I added some hot sauce. I used a hotter sauce than Frank's. And I added a little bit of the rimming seasoning, the celery salt seasoning, because it did need actually a little bit of salt. And now it is perfect. So let's try it again. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Perfect. So, what I'm going to do now, uh, carefully. So I'm going to add my baby clams and all of the liqueur or brine that they come in. I don't want this to splash everywhere, so I'm doing it over the stove, and I'm sorry about the angle, guys. But I'd rather not lose anything. Right, they're all in. So, these just need to be heated through. I mean, they're already basically cooked. So, they just need to be heated through. Once that happens, I will bring you back. We will plate and we shall eat. Hey guys, welcome back. It's time to ladle up. What I've gone ahead and done is I rimmed my bowl with a little bit of lemon juice and dipped it in that celery salt um, seasoning, um, if you want to call it that, just to have, you know, more of that Caesar look and flavor. So all I have to do is to ladle up our soup. I'm hoping I do this without a spilling. Let me bring the bowl over here to me. Oh, wow. Guys, again, thank you so much for watching the Euro Cooking Canuck with memories, sorry, with Clearly Canadian, actually. I do do memories of Malta and memories of Macedonia as well, so please tune in to those. And do like my Facebook page. I shall put the link below. Guys, what can I say? That is perfection. You're gonna garnish this with a lime wedge. Don't put it in the soup because it can get bitter. And a little celery with some leaves because you know what guys those leaves are really good and make a nice topping guys that's it as usual there'll be some pics to follow please comment please hit that subscribe button please share i love all your comments i want to welcome all my new subscribers you guys are awesome and we'll see you next time on the euro cooking canuck and clearly canadian memories of malta and memories of macedonia ciao for now guys